What's up, y'all? Preston coming to you today, and I just had something I want to talk to you guys about, you know, especially when it comes to purchasing scat packs in general. So, you can look at this two ways, right? Either you can purchase the 5.7, or you can purchase the 392, right? Which is the 6.4 liter, which is what I got. So, it all comes down to what you want to purchase. You can't go wrong with either purchase, and I'm gonna tell you why I say that, right? Because it kind of depends on what you want to do. So let's let's kind of flesh this out so we can see what you guys are looking for. So as far as making a purchase on a 5.7 or 6.4, you gotta look at a couple of things. And in the comment section, let me know if I miss anything. If you're looking for a 5.7 or 6.4, two things you gotta think about: what are you doing it for? What's the reason for the purchase? And what do you want to do? For instance, if you are, let's start with the most obvious thing if you're money conscious and you are trying to purchase just a v8 in general let's say you're trying to buy a v8 in general it's either gonna be that five seven or that six four so you gotta look at two things if you're money conscious do you a want to buy a fully loaded vehicle charger or um challenger or b are you after the performance and what i mean by that is if you want a fully loaded v8 you're gonna obviously buy the five seven because it's gonna be cheaper so if you want that 392 or that 6.4 liter, then you're gonna buy that 392. And that's gonna be the diff the biggest difference there when it comes down to like luxuries on the interior. What do you want? What what do you care about? For me, and I'm gonna keep referring to myself here because obviously I made the purchase and drove both. For me, I didn't care about having all the bells and whistles on my car, like the technology package, and which which you know now looking at it i probably bought on my next vehicle but i didn't care about that when i purchased this one the technology package i didn't need you know the side rear side mirror detections i didn't need that, that adaptive cruise control i didn't care about that either so for me i wanted that 392 i got heated seats you know i got uh everything else that i wanted to get with it but if i would have stepped down to a 57 i probably could have maxed that all the way out on what i was wanting and been in the same exact price range, but I wanted that that extra performance. And if you're buying a 6.4, now let's say you're looking at performance, and let's say cost ain't really anything when you're debating on this too. The 5.7 is a really good option, but the 6.4 has more of a stroke to the motor because you got a 5.7, 5.7 liter motor compared to a 6.4 liter motor, meaning that you're gonna have a longer stroke of the motor, and also you're gonna have a higher top speed which is not even gonna be noticeable for some people. If you don't care about that, you know, the, the average person ain't gonna hit the top speed on the vehicle. But you're also gonna have just a slight quicker acceleration to the 6.4 as well. So not saying that you can't mod up a 5.7 to be just as quick as a 6.4, but that's gonna be the different, the, the biggest difference with the motors because you got the extra horsepower with that 6.4 liter motor. So as far as like, purchasing the 5.7 and 6.4, I noticed that the 5.7 from the factory is a little louder than the 6.4 is, but obviously you can do a muffler delete on these cars, and the 6.4 is definitely going to be louder because it's a bigger block motor. Okay, so these are things that you have to look at when you are trying to purchase a vehicle. You got to look at cost. You got to look at what you want to do with it. If cost ain't a thing, if you're looking at, you know, wanting the most fun out of your vehicle, obviously buy a 6.4, but the 5.7 has a better fuel economy than that 6.4 now it's slightly better it's not like a, oh my god i'm glad i bought this thing because i got the gas module v6 but it is going to be better because it's a smaller motor with a smaller stroke so these are going to be the things that that i would tell you to to think about or you know decide on when you're buying your 5.7 or your 6.4 um do you care about that performance do you care you know about the gas mileage do you want a fully loaded vehicle? And for the, the typical person my age, I don't think they really care about having a fully loaded vehicle. I think that's more so, you know, convenience for people that's older than us that will be looking for that. So, you know, keep those things in mind. And those of you, you know, with five sevens and six fours, you know, let me know what you think. But both are really good cars and you can't go wrong with either one when it comes to the five seven and the six four again it, it just kind of comes down to personal preference so this is my take on it this is how i see it and you know i hope you guys take something from it so if you have anything to add please add to it you know like subscribe comment let me know what y'all think i'll see y'all next time your boy out